morning everyone my name is Alice Williams and uh, I thought we'd take just a couple of moments this morning to talk a little bit about sacred spaces that's going to be our sermon tomorrow and I think we all have those places where we feel God's presence greatly we know God's with us everywhere and we know that he's at work within us all the time but there are spots that help us to bring into a moment of either praise or worship or acknowledgement that his presence is there with us. For me, it's been this garden that Debbie and I planted at the beginning of the COVID lockdown back in March. We did this just thinking it would be a good diversion. It's been more than that. It's actually been a pretty good metaphor about what's been going on. Um, we've, we've been through one planting. The, the first things that we planted had cucumbers and squash, lettuces, uh, peppers, that kind of thing. And it did really well, but it's a funny thing about plants. They like to grow in their season and in their time. And in summer, it gets really hot. So um, we decided that we would plant some, some summer crops. And so the summer crops that we've got right now are some beans. These are like a black eyed pea, only they're called uh, pink eyes. They're a little bit lighter. Uh, we've got some okra. We've got some uh, tomatoes, some peppers, and then for fun, we grew some watermelon. Now, let me tell you, this has been kind of an interesting thing. When we planted all of this, it was a nice, neat, orderly rose. Everything was, you know, nice and, and, and you laid out uh, just as, as it should be. For whatever reason, these plants seem to like this dirt and they've done really, really well. And this garden now, if you look at it, it's a little bit looking messy. I mean, we tend to it every week. We pull weeds out and try to keep it as neat looking as we can. But what I've come to understand is that each one of these plants are growing into exactly what they're meant to be. Watermelon likes to go everywhere. There's no real containing watermelon. They have vines that get to be 10 feet long. Uh, I've tried to maybe trellis a few of them. It does okay, but they're still kind of got a mind of their own and do what they're gonna do. Um, the beans, they, they will either grow on a trellis or they'll just grow out. Uh, and they're doing really well, but they've kind of just taken over that spot. And then behind them, the okra. The okra are the tall majestics. They, they seem to have stayed in the rows that we planted them in, but, but they're growing and leafing out also. All of these plants have done very well and they're healthy. They found their calling. They found their voice. When I think about the time that we're in right now, for me, the garden's been a metaphor about the fact that, that I'm learning to find my voice. And what I mean by that is there's, there's all the issues, the COVID, there's the racism, there, you pick any ism. They're all calling for us to be the witness of God's love and grace in the midst of it. And so my hope is that at some point in the next few days, weeks, or months, that you'll take the time and, and look to find that space and place where you find your voice, where you find uh, your calling. And just like these plants, you know, you're on your walk to perfection too, uh, that you'll grow and bear great fruit. I do have a scripture that I thought might be helpful for us today. It comes from the Psalms. It's Psalms 96, verse 11 and 12. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, let the sea resound and all that is in it, and let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Let all the trees of the forest sing for joy. Friends, I hope this week you find a time, a place, and a space where you too can sing for joy. Blessings on you. See you next time.